Download the free Gun Dealio app to your smartphone. Find out about the latest deals and news on guns and gear. Includes the latest Gun Talk podcast and Gun Talk videos. That's Gun Dealio on the App Store and Google Play. This is Tom Gresham's Gun Talk, now available on iTunes and other podcast clients and on the free Gun Dealio smartphone app for iPhone and Android. Feel free to call Tom now at 1-TOM-TALK-GUN or 866-825-5486 or email Tom at GunTalk.com. Now, once again, here's Tom. All right, back with you. 866-TALK-GUN gets you in here. I'm Tom Gresham. If you, By the way, if you want to send me an email... It's Tom at GunTalk.com. Tom at GunTalk.com. Pretty easy. We like to give away stuff around here. You know we do. We work with a lot of folks, uh, give away a lot of cool stuff. Uh, well, we're going to do some more of that. Uh, joining me right now to talk about that and uh, other very cool stuff, uh, our good friend from, from Crimson Trace, Gary Killingsworth. Hey, Gary, how you doing? Hey, Tom. I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm excellent. Uh, you guys keep cranking out uh, lasers and making more and different ones, fitting different kinds of guns. Yes, we are. That's uh, that's what we do, and we're going to keep doing it. Okay, right there uh, in Oregon, making them right there in Oregon. That's correct. Yeah. All right. So, what's new? The guy says nobody ever walked up and said what's old. So, what's new? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, let's see. There's a there's a lot of new stuff. Um, you know, most recently here within the last couple of days, we uh, we launched um, our new line of tactical lights for uh, for AR rifles. Oh. Um, there's four different models. Um, prices are really good on those. Um, so they're just starting to hit dealer shelves right now. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got them available on our website also. Um, let's see. Uh, lasers, so red and, red and green for Sig Sauer P320. Oh yeah, that's um, you know one of the the new hot pistols. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, as well as uh, red and green lasers for uh, HK VP9, VP40, VP9 SK, wow. etc. Okay. Yeah. All right. But but so, but what I really want to talk about is when I, I saw this, I thought somebody screwed up, somebody made a mistake, and somebody's going to lose a job because this you can't give away the <laughs> store like this, man. What what? <laughs> this is just nuts. Tell people what you guys are doing. Okay, so we've got a uh, we've got a, actually a couple different things. So there's um, right now we're doing we've got a the sweepstakes going with uh, with you guys. So mm-hmm. there's uh, there's three products in there. There's uh, one each um, one each of our new tactical lights, um, and then a Railmaster Pro as well. So there's kind of a full kit right there. Yeah, you're gonna get like um, a whole care package from uh, Crimson Trace on that deal. So let me see. I'm looking exactly. at uh, one Railmaster Pro Green, right? Plus a tactical yep. light. Uh, let's see, and a Crimson Trace tactical light of the 500 lumen. It got a 900 lumen peak power. Uh, holy cow! That's pretty yeah. sweet. And yeah, to enter, good, enter for a chance package. to win that, that's the the guntalk.com slash win address. So you just go there, sign up. Guntalk.com slash win, right? That's right. That's okay. Right. All right. But then got, you also got, got this got nutty bi- bogo thing going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's this one has been this one has been hot. Uh, I guess. So it is, uh, yeah. It's uh, basically it is buy a Crimson Trace uh, laser sight and get a free CMR two hundred one Railmaster. Uh, so that's our our really popular universal uh, red laser sight. So. You don't have to buy it from our website. You can buy it from a dealer. You can buy it from, uh, you know, a preferred online retailer. It doesn't matter where you buy it. Um, come to our website, get the uh, get the form, send it in, and uh, we'll send you that free laser. So when you buy any Crimson Trace laser, you can then also get a free Railmaster? You got it. That is exactly right. Okay, so I go to my store, I buy the uh, Crimson Trace laser, whichever one I want, for whichever gun I want. What do I do then? Go go to crimsontrace.com, and then you can't miss it. It's right on our homepage, whether you're on your phone or on your desktop. Um, click on that link. It'll take you right in, and uh, there are two different sections where you can uh, either print out or uh, or fill out and then print out the uh, redemption form. Send it in to us, and uh, you got a laser on the way. 
What what would a rail master like that? What's the retail price on that? The the retail value is one hundred and fifty nine. So one hundred and fifty nine dollar laser, railmaster laser, you're going to get for free. You're going to get for free. Here's I'm a, telling you. Also a, a, Somebody's going to lose a job over this, man. I'm telling you, somebody screwed up. Uh, somebody went on well, vacation, you know, and they said, hey, the boss is away. We're going to give away the store. Which nobody goes on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> we're too busy. No, but, uh, I mean, you know you know how we are. And, you know, the one of the main things in doing a promotion like this is that clearly we we, we believe in the merits of laser sites, and this is an extremely popular model, and uh, it can fit just about anything with a rail. And so the more of those that we get out there, the, the better off it is for, for lasers in general. We want people to use them. We want them to be mm-hmm. proficient with them. Mm-hmm. Um, here's, a, here's a pro tip for, for your listeners. Um, right. You can buy a rail master. For, you can buy the exact same one and, and send it in and get another one. So just a, a wink, so, wink there. So, wait, so you could buy a Railmaster, and then you could get another Railmaster. That's right. Why not? Sure. Why not? Exactly. Yeah. All right, now, for, for people who are not real familiar with the Railmaster, what will it go on? It will go on pretty much any pistol with a rail? Yeah, it, it will It will go on any pistol with a rail. Um, it will also go on to shotguns with a rail. It will also go on to uh, long guns. Um, with a Picatinny or a Weaver uh-huh. style accessory rail. And yeah. for those who don't know, if you put it on your pistol and you're thinking, now it won't fit my holster, not to worry. If you go to the Crimson Trace website, you guys have holsters designed for different guns that have your, your lasers on. We do. We do. And so we we stock uh, we stock some holsters on our website, and then we also offer a um, holster resource guide, which is holsterresourceguide.com, or you can see it on our website. But we work mm-hmm. with... Um, dozens of different holster manufacturers in the marketplace, um, and they provide us with the information as to this is all the holsters that they offer that fit Crimson Trace products, and it's, it goes product by product, and um, we like to support our, our holster manufacturer friends okay. this way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I, okay, I got an idea. I just got even more greedy. Um, if okay. I get a free Railmaster, can I still get free batteries for life for it? Yes, you can. <laughs> so I, wait, wait, I get a free laser, and you're going to give me batteries for life. That's right. That's right. You get it for you get it for free, and then we'll keep it powered. For it's you. been nice knowing you, Gary. I hope you find work. Man. I got something to tell you. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm going to go for radio next. I think. <laughs> yeah, right. Because you sure don't have to have any talent to do this. I can tell you that. <laughs> well, that's all very cool. So details. Uh, you can either buy the laser on the website, or you can buy it anywhere else. You get the free rail master. You go to crimsontrace.com. It's pretty simple. It's easy. And by the way, if you want to enter for a chance to win the cool package we have at Gun Talk. Just go to guntalk.com slash win. All good stuff and uh, cool stuff. Hey, Gary, thank you, man. This is really sweet. Absolutely. My pleasure, Tom. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Absolutely. And uh, like I say, if you need a reference, just let me know, man. I'm, I'm here for you. <laughs> I'll do it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Gary Killingsworth from Crimson Trace. Thanks so much. All right. We'll take a thank quick you. break here. We'll come back. Uh, we'll take your calls, comments, questions, range reports. Uh, 866-TALK-GUN gets you in. Be right back. Tactical professionals who put their lives on the line every day depend on Surefire. Since 1979, Surefire has designed, machined, and assembled the finest flashlights, weapon-mounted lights, hearing protection, and suppressors right here in the U.S. Surefire, offering a best-in-class warranty and customer service, and used by more military special operations, SWAT teams, and hard-use end-users than any other brand. Surefire, American-built, American-strong. Visit Surefire.com. That's Surefire.com. Laser sights offer an immediate advantage when visibility is poor and seconds count. Laser sights can de-escalate a deadly encounter by engaging the target with a laser, enhancing your ability to protect your family, home, and country. Call 800-442-2406 or visit crimsontrace.com for a free copy of our laser training video, The Laser's Edge, and learn why Crimson Trace is making laser sights standard equipment. Hi, this is Tom Gresham from Gun Talk. America is losing critical wildlife habitat at a rate of one football field every hour. 
It's happening on the Louisiana coast, but it's critical to all sportsmen and conservationists. These precious wetlands provide winter habitat for more than 10 million ducks and geese annually, waterfowl that migrate north through dozens of states. Don't shrug it off. Get involved. You can help. Visit vanishingparadise.org. It's really pretty simple. Your carry gun is a life-saving device. It must be with you. That's what the Springfield Armory XDS is all about. Small enough to carry, big enough to shoot comfortably, shockingly slim, single stack, with a 3.3-inch or 4-inch barrel, available in 9, 40, or 45. Highly accurate, great trigger, fiber optic front sight for fast aimed fire. The XDS at Springfield-Armory.com. That's Springfield-Armory.com. Back with the 866 Talk Gun. If you'd like to join us, uh, got something on your mind? Let's talk about it. If you want to know about a particular gun or a caliber, we can talk about that as well because we love talking about that. I'm Tom Gresham, by the way. The show's called Gun Talk. You can check us out on uh, on the web, guntalk.com, guntalk.com. We have a YouTube channel with thousands, literally thousands of videos. Just look for Gun Talk there. On Facebook, look for Gun Talk Media there. Over on Twitter, I am at Gun Talk. You can follow me, and uh, you'll get almost daily, sometimes like a dozen times a day, news reports, things that are going on, stories about self-defense, uses of guns. Basically, it's the intellectual ammunition that you need when you're discussing guns and gun rights, and I feed that many times through the Twitter account. Even if you're not on Twitter, I would offer that. I think it's worthwhile for you just to go ahead and join. Just for that one thing and follow me, it's I am at Gun Talk on Twitter. Line one, Frank's with us out of New Jersey. Frank, you've got a point to make here. Yeah, Tom, uh, I do. I have two points, as a matter of fact. One, uh, everybody's complaining about the guns and how they're so bad and how uh, they're killing so many people. And I was uh, going through the web the other day, and I found out that each day, 2,000 kids go missing. Every single day of the year, about 2,000 kids go missing. That's 800,000 kids a year just disappear off the face of the earth. And I don't hear one word from the media, from any group or any body about that. And it seems to me that this is a bigger problem than... The guns. Um, I, I, I agree, I, but, I, but I, let me ask you. Do you think it is a strong position, a strong argument for us to make to say, well, the problem with guns is not as big as other problems? Do you think that's a selling point? I, I think it could be if, if presented properly, but I, I just don't understand why these people that are marching for against guns aren't marching for children that are missing or uh, who knows what happens to the poor kids. Uh, it just seems like it, uh, it's turned upside down. Well, it is upside uh, down, but it, it's well, some of it is because this is something they can focus on. Uh, other problems are simply bigger than they, and they know they can't get their arms around it. On this one, it appears to them that, wow, we can actually do something about this. People use guns to commit crime. If we got rid of the guns, we wouldn't have the crime. It's a syllogism. It's like saying, you know, birds have two legs. Jim has two legs. Therefore, Jim is a bird. You know, it's, it's silly on the face of it, but it is, it's, you know, but that's kind of where we are. And we're having to fight, trying to fight with logic and reason, a belief. And, you know, a belief is a very poor substitute for experience. I, I agree with that. Uh, the the second thing is, and you brought it up uh, just now, is in speaking to people and a lot of people uh, that own guns and asking them if they're NRA members or uh, belong to any organization, they look at you sometimes and say, why would I join that? Uh, I, I don't know if it's just uh, ignorance or just the fact that they don't want to spend an extra $10 or $12 uh, but that's a, a major issue. Uh, if we all, everybody that owned a gun joined the NRA okay, and did well, march and did get I, together. I know what you're saying. Okay. We, all right. Let's, let's play that game for a second. I'm just 
trying to come, because I like to play and say, okay, what would I say if? So I say, you know, are you an NRA member? And somebody says, well, why would I join that? I'm thinking, well, it would prove to people you're not just sitting on your ass. Uh, done that. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not actually being, you know, uh, making a joke here. I mean, I would actually say something like that, because if you're not, then you are, in fact, just sitting on your butt and you're not being part of the solution and you are being part of the problem. So get off your lazy butt and get your credit card out. And it's thirty five bucks and it's worth every penny because the more we have and I don't care. It's NRA. It's Second Amendment Foundation. It's what and it's absolutely your yep. state groups. And you need to belong to several. You know, just here's the deal. Just say I'm going to spend a hundred dollars a year. That's nothing. That's like you know a few meals out. A hundred bucks a year. And I'm going to have an NRA membership, a Second Amendment Foundation membership, a membership to my state organization, and maybe a donation here and there along the way. Well, Tom, you know the other thing was I've asked my sports shops in the area about ten of them that when they're selling a gun, add an extra couple of bucks on there. And give them an NRA membership if they're not. Mm -hmm. And if they are, give it to somebody in their family. Uh, Build it into the price where they're not losing money, but it's sort of forcing uh, the horse to drink the water uh, versus trying to lead the horse. Because sometimes people need to be pushed. I understand. Or maybe offer a 5% discount for NRA members. Show your card, get a a discount. Let me tell you a quick story because this is part of my frustration. Uh, years back, the Taurus firearms used to include with every gun that they sold, I don't know if they still do, they may still do it, and a free NRA membership, a, cert- a certificate, good, you could use it for you to join, you could give it to somebody else. It is a free, one-year paid NRA membership. They had, the return rate was in the single digits. Really? Can you believe that it? Is, that is amazing. Uh, it, it's breathtaking. I, I don't understand that. I don't either. But it's one of those deals that, you know, I think we have to stop being so nice to each other and just saying, you, get off your butt. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not kidding here, mister. You know, you really are part of the problem. If you're just sitting especially back. In the state, yeah. I'm hmm? sorry to interrupt you. Especially in the state of New Jersey, we just got a new governor. Oh, yeah. And he is definitely going to try to remove all the guns. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Frank, i got to keep running, but thank you. You bring up a lot of good points there. Let me talk to Rory on line four out of New Braunfels, Texas. Hey, Rory, you're on Gun Talk. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. What's up? Uh, my first issue was people are complaining about arming the teachers with guns because they're mm-hmm. worried maybe shoot a wrong student. Why don't they give them tasers? Because they don't you work. Know, all this stuff. Simple. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, look, here, here's the thing. There's not a cop out there who would ever pull a taser out and shoot somebody who's shooting, shooting kids. None. Why? Because, because that's not what a taser's made for. They, they just don't work that well in that situation. You know, I, I always go back to why are we keep worrying about things that haven't happened when we have a track record? I, I tried to make the point. I may not have been real, uh, real good at it in front of the legislature. I said, look, there's a, there's a doorway over there. Why would we argue about how tall that doorway is when we can just get out a tape measure and we can know for sure? Why are we talking about what might happen, that this might happen, or our teacher might do this, or might do that, when we have 18 states that allow teachers to carry guns in some form or fashion, and we have more than a decade's worth of experience, rather than wonder what if, why don't we just look at the record? It's like, it's like pulling out a tape measure and measuring how big this thing, how tall something is. And yet, the very next breath from the gun ban lobby and the legislators who are part of the gun ban lobby are, well, would a teacher really shoot one of her students? And, you know, on silly stuff like that. And I will tell you, I have an idea. Part of the resistance to this is people who think a woman can't handle a gun. Because they think most teachers are women, and they couldn't handle a gun in a stressful situation. It is one of the most sexist things out there, but it just sits there, and it's just big as it can be. I can argue with them on that. Uh, my wife, she's five foot one, probably weighs ninety eight pounds, mm-hmm. and uh, she can handle a pistol better than I can. And I'm prior military. <laughs> it's like I wouldn't want to mess with her. 
Yeah. And my second my second point is on these teachers arming them. As long as the, the teachers carry them concealed and the students not going to know who has the gun, they're going to think twice about going into a school that they know any teacher can have a gun. They don't know which one has it, what person has it. It mm-hmm. can be staff walking to a hallway. You know, it's interesting. Life about it then. Yeah, interesting you say that. We actually had one of our legislators said, look, he's in the military. He says, you know what one of the, the basic uh, functions of the military is? Is deterrence. That's what this is. If they think, if I go in there and shoot this, there's somebody there with a gun who may shoot me, that is a deterrent, and it works. It was a good point. Let me, before we run out of time, I know you had a question about a 250 Savage. What can I help you with on that? I was given a 250 Savage. It's a rifle, bolt action. I cannot find ammo for it. And my question is, this gun's probably made in, uh, I'd say, 64, 65. Mm-hmm. In excellent condition. Should I continue trying to shoot this thing, or would it be worth oh, yeah. something? What's something? It should be no problem finding ammo for a 250 Savage. Look for 250 Savage or 250-3000 Savage. Same cartridge. Uh, you're probably not going to find it locally. You're going to have to go online, more than likely. Go to a, There's a website called Ammo Seek. It's S-E-E-K, ammoseek.com, and put in 250 Savage, and you'll find all these places that have it for sale. And it's a delightful little cartridge. It's a great little twenty-five caliber cartridge. I think you'll love it. All righty. I know I shot it as a kid, but that was many years ago. <laughs> well, you I know what? Appreciate it, huh? it will it will still kill deer, and it has almost no recoil, and you'll just uh-huh. love it. It's basically just a little bit lighter than a two hundred and fifty uh, Roberts, which is one of my favorite cartridges, two hundred and fifty-seven Roberts. So uh, you'll you'll love it. Find some ammo for it. Keep that gun going. Appreciate it. And look, thank you for the call. <sighs> yeah, well, there was a lot of talk about what if, what if, what if. And then we even had legislators I mean, just berating people who were testifying, saying, well, have you ever killed anybody? you ever killed anybody? Well, you know, it's not really a requirement. When people go through the police academy, before we let them out on the street, we don't require them to kill anybody. But it's the kind of nonsense that we face And, you know, the only way we can fight that is for you to be there, for us to be there, for all of us to show up. I keep saying it, show up or give up. I will tell you, we are faced with a tidal wave of gun control coming our way. We better get on board and get serious about it right now. Gun Talk encourages you to support the local sporting goods store, gun stores, ATV dealers, and other local businesses in your area who advertise on this station and Gun Talk. Only together can we protect our rights. You're listening to Washington Times Opinion Page regular contributor Tom Gresham. We talk about getting out there, getting more people out there, organizing, showing up. A lot of people are doing that on a lot of different levels. Just heard earlier that uh, some kind of a national group or national effort to try to get people in state capitals. I have to admit, that was the first I've heard of it. Supposedly it's happening in a, in a week or so. Um, we need to be or- better organized. We need, to, we need to let people know. We need to work with coalitions, which is groups of groups. When I heard from my uh, friends at Gunsight, they said, here's an outfit, here's an effort that you really need to know about, the Shot Heard Around the World Day. I went, what is that? Well, they said, well, we'll get Scott on and have him tell you. So Scott Lavin's joining us right now from the Shot Heard Around the World Day. Hey, Scott, how are you? Good, sir. How are you today? I am good. So what is, in fact, the Shot Heard Around the World Day? So, um, you know, we all know that the American Revolution was, was started and the song goes, the shot heard around the world day. Um, so April 19th, 1775, was uh, the first shot of the American Revolution. You could argue that everything that America became after that was a result of that one moment. So um, part of uh, the shot heard around the world day movement is celebrating some American history, which you know never goes out of fashion as far as we're concerned. But mm-hmm. more importantly, it's to, <clears throat> it's to educate people who aren't us about what we do, about the, the social, 
recreational side of recreational shooting. You know, we know uh, from the National Shooting Sports Foundation, 25% of the people hunting this year are not going to renew. 35% of recreational shooters will not re-engage next year. Now, we don't feel that pain because the industry and, and people like you are doing such a great job of bringing people in, but we've got to be more than just a revolving door. And I think that a lot of people, and I used to sell firearms I did not know about the community of the recreational shooters of America. I mean, um, the range I live near has 180 user groups, and I've been hanging out there for about five, six years now, and I I barely know 5% of them. I mean, there's just that much diversity in, in in the social side of recreational shooting. So we're, we're, Mm -hmm. we're just trying to give people an excuse to come out to the range, celebrate history, and hopefully the ranges that participate We'll invite their local neighbors, whether they're a hunter ed association or a well-armed woman chapter or a concealed carry instructor. And just let well, the public let me, come. Let me back up. because I think we have buried the lead, or maybe we haven't even gotten to the lead. What is it? What is the day? What are we supposed to do? Well, we're celebrating. The, the, the anniversary is April 19th. I mean, I, no, no, I, no I, get, I get that. This is the celebration of the anniversary of that. But what happens right. on that day? What are we going to be doing on that day? So, so it's up to the range that, that you go to. Now, the range that I'm going to be at, I'm going to be at Ben Avery Shooting Facility. It's, maybe you've heard of it. It's a quiet little range in Arizona. But we're going to have a, an honor guard from a local Duke Air Force Base present the colors. And then, you know, uh, you know, we usually have either the director or somebody, you know, say a few words. And then we all just fall out on the firing line and, and take, you know, a volley down range to celebrate the first shot of the American Revolution. In addition... They, they have vendor space set up, and if you're a new recreational shooter or, or you know, a neighbor or a friend that was brought that day, you're going to get to see the buffet that is recreational shooting in America. You're going to see the different manufacturers, the different retailers, and the diff- most importantly, the different social organizations that can give you excuses to continue to go shooting the ranges. Because so, Okay, so you know, let, like, let me see like, if I got there, because I'm, I'm trying to explain, I'm trying to boil this down. Shot her around the world is a day for people to go to the range. Correct. Okay, that, let's start with that. Okay, because that's the part we haven't gotten to yet. Okay. okay. Uh, it, this is a day for people to go to the range. And then when you get there, if the range is participating in this, there will be a lot of different ways that you can shoot. You can meet a lot of people from other groups. Maybe you're a, a, a SAS shooter and you get involved in three gun or you try your hand at that. Maybe you're a trap shooter and you want to find out what this long range shooting is all about. Maybe you, there's a whole community of uh, well armed women there and you don't know these people. It's a chance to, I was talking about building coalitions, groups of groups. That's the kind of thing. But basically, at its heart, the shot heard around the world is a range day where you go out, and if you're a local shooting range, you get involved in this. Is that where we are? You bet. And then it's backed by a a website and a Facebook page by the same name uh, that gives you hints and, 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 you know, organizations of different states near you so that, let's say, you're in Florida. You can go to the, the Florida page and see what ranges, what manufacturers, and what social groups are participating in Florida. Now, we're still very grassroots. Last year was our inaugural year. We had 44 partners in 12 states participate, um, but we're picking up steam, and and it is very much community-driven. Okay, so the website is shotheardroundtheworldday.com. And one of the things I would mention, is I, I don't think we did, is for people to understand the American Revolution and the shot heard around the world, the first shot fired, was because of gun control. The British were coming to take the arms, to take the ball and powder from the colonialists. And the reason that the American Revolution started, the precipitating event, was to prevent, prevent them from confiscating arms. That's correct. So... That is the, the the crux of the matter. But it, it's a fabulous idea. Basically, it's a chance to get people out, and your website and your Facebook page explain how to do it. You bet. Um, you can go to the website. You can download commemorative targets that you can sign and show that you participated and you know, put them up on the wall if, that's, if you like to do that. Um, it's, it's, just, it's an excuse to invite a friend and introduce them mm-hmm. to our world. Now, um, you know, the movement itself, our program, you know, uh, you guys are, are fighting the good fight, so we're trying to stay non-political on this. We're trying to just invite people to have fun and to see us as human beings and enjoy what we enjoy. I've never seen anybody 
having a bad day at the range. Everybody's so polite. Uh, you know, everyone's willing to offer some advice or answer a friendly question. Um, and and I, I think, you know, your, your last guest was talking about NRA memberships. If there's a NRA or a Friends of NRA booth at, at, at the range that may be participating near you, then that's fantastic, and we want that. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, sounds great. I, I appreciate it. Uh, the website is shotheardgroundtheworldday.com. You can go check out what's going on in your state. I'm looking at the state-by-state rundown. If there's nothing going on there, there's a chance for you to, to get on board and, and get involved in this. Scott Lavin, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thanks for having us. All right. You take care. All right, 866-TALK-GUN. Would you put on an event like this? Would you go to an event like this? Would you put together a group? It's an interesting idea that we have all these different groups, these disparate groups of shooters who often don't talk to each other. Trap shooters don't talk to three gunners, vice versa. How do we get them all together? Because we do have numbers. We're just pretty much split up a lot. 866-TALK-GUN. This is Jeff with Black Hills Ammunition. Our new rifle ammunition line featuring Hornady's extreme low drag bullet design is a big step forward in long distance performance. When you want the ability to shoot way out there with accuracy, flat trajectory, and minimal wind effect, our ELD ammunition is the right choice. The high ballistic coefficients and Black Hills Ammunition carry manufacture gives you the advantage. Black Hills Ammunition, the power of performance. Perhaps more than any other landscape, wetlands embody the life-giving abundance that nature has to offer. And perhaps more than any other organization, Ducks Unlimited is working to ensure that our continent's wetlands not only survive, but thrive for generations well beyond this one. The time is now to band together. The time is now to rescue our wetlands. You got your carry permit, and that's good. But do you know you could use more training? Get the DVDs, which have what you need. Springfield Armory presents Concealed Carry 1 and Concealed Carry 2 with Bata Group. Learn specific concealed carry skills from Top Gun fighting trainers. Get trained. Be prepared. This really is life and death. ShopGunTalk.com That's ShopGunTalk.com. Are you looking for a place to shoot? The National Shooting Sports Foundation has a great website called wheretoshoot.org. It's the largest database of shooting ranges on the Internet. It's also a great resource for shooters where you can find video tips, printable targets, and a lot more. Find it online at wheretoshoot.org. And while you're there, download their free iPhone app. That's where to shoot.org. Used guns can be a great value, but you have to know who you're buying from. What if you could buy quality used guns with a lifetime warranty from the Internet's largest online reseller? That's what you get at Dewey'sGuns.com. They stand behind every firearm purchase for life. If you have a problem, they'll either fix or replace your gun. Pistols, rifles, shotguns, and more. Check out their inventory today at Dury'sGuns.com. All right, back with the 866 Talk Gun. Get you in here. I'm Tom Gresham. If you had a range report, you've been out shooting something, let me know. If you have a, a new gun, an old gun for that matter, if you've introduced somebody to shooting, I want to hear those stories as well. Uh, a chance to take people out to the range and let them shoot, let them have some fun, you know, provide them with eye protection, hearing protection, and a gun that doesn't kick much, please, because nobody really likes to get beat up, especially a newcomer. Give them a twenty-two or something that doesn't kick very much. <laughs> All right, this is going to drive some of the gun banners crazy. You know it's a really, really good gun to start people off with if they want to shoot a rifle? An AR-15. Why? Well, because... It's a moderate-powered cartridge. It's actually a, not a very powerful cartridge, the two two three, 
and it doesn't recoil much. And with an adjustable stock, it can be adjusted to fit people of different statures, people who are taller or shorter. And they're easy to shoot. They're ergonomically designed. They are a modern rifle. Somebody just recently wrote me and says, let's stop saying modern sporting rifle and just call it what it is. It's a modern rifle as opposed to old style rifles. It's a good point. I think it's a good point. Call it the modern rifle. It is our modern rifle. All right. Casey's with us out of Fresno, California on line three. Casey, how can we help you? Tom, it's an honor to talk to you. It's all. Um, I actually have a couple of things. The first thing, uh, well, the main thing I wanted to talk to you about was being cross dominant. But uh, the first thing is uh, that uh, I'm a uh, I'm pursuing a CCW here in, in California, as uh, rare as that is. Mm-hmm. Um, and in, in Fresno, they they give them out pretty easily. Uh, we have Margaret Mims as our sheriff, so she's a uh, she's a real good sheriff. But um, I wanted to get your thoughts on uh, signing up for as uh, once I get my CCW, uh, getting, uh, becoming a member of the USCCA and, uh, how you feel about that? Um, personal choice. I- I'm not a member, but I mean, join any group you want to join. Um, uh, I don't think it's necessary, but if it's a group that you want to join, go for it. Okay. Um, and <clears throat> so my second thing, I guess is, uh, so I've been shooting for a few years now and I'd always been a little bit off on my shots and I tried to do everything mm-hmm. to, uh, to reflect on that. I've tried to, I was thinking, well, maybe it was anticipatory and, and, uh, I've been trying to leave my shots a little bit. I I've been trying to correct it, been getting several people's opinions on it and, uh, even had somebody mm-hmm. look at my stance, how I'm doing. And, and we've been kind of shrugging our heads and come to find out that I just, just uh, a little bit ago found out that I'm actually, uh, Cross dominant, meaning that my right arm <clears throat> is dominant and my left eye is dominant. So I wanted to get your tips on uh, how to accommodate sure. that. Okay, uh, there are two or three things going on here. First of all, I too am very much right handed and very much left eye dominant. Uh, so I shoot right handed on handguns, left handed on long guns. Uh, should not be a problem at all. And trust me, that is not why you're missing. If you're if you're not shooting as well as you want. It has nothing to do with cross dominance. So put that out of yeah. your mind right off the bat. But I do know what's going on. I've okay. never seen you shoot. I'm not seeing your target. I know what's going on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, if you'll spend $10, we can fix this. Okay. All right. What kind of gun do you shoot? I shoot uh, an MP Shield 9mm. Perfect. All right. I, need, I want you to buy a small bag of snap caps. Snap caps. Okay. Okay. And I want you to, you have several magazines, different magazines? Oh, yes. Okay. I want you to load two or three magazines and intersperse snap caps in with live rounds so you don't know when you're going to get a snap cap. The mm, first time okay. it's going, you're going bang, 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 it'll go click, you will see the muzzle dip. Mm. You are, in okay. fact, anticipating. We all, here's, here's the thing. It's not you. It's me. It's every shooter out there. Everybody does it. Everybody, and everybody swears they're not doing it. But the moment you okay. have the snap cap go click, and the muzzle dips toward the ground, you're going, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am doing it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you're probably right. You're probably right. That's a good idea. It, I, I, and trust me, I mean, and here's the other part. Once you do it, that doesn't necessarily fix it forever. You got to go back and redo it, you know, every half a year, every year, because we all get to that anticipatory deal. We're starting to flinch a little bit. We're pulling our shots off a little bit. And what you want is you're thinking, okay, I'm not going to do it this time. And you start pressing the trigger so that when it goes click, the sights don't move at all. And if you really get a hard focus on that front sight and you're making sure it's not going to move this time, it's not going to move this time when it goes click, and then when you shift your focus back to the target, you're going to have the smallest group you've ever shot in your life. Try that and call me back and let me know how it works because I want to get a, a real-world range report on this. For 10 bucks, get you some snap caps, mix them in with your ammo, and then when it goes click, you'll see the jerk and you'll go, ah, now I know. I, I guarantee you. I guarantee you that's what's going on. How do I know it? Because... I do it, too, and everybody else does it. Everybody I know does this thing. It's a great drill for 10 bucks. You can't beat it. Super shooting lesson. 866-TALK-GUN. Have you ever done that drill? Let me know. All 
right, back with you. Range reports are always welcome here. Joe's got one for us uh, out of Ponds, Texas. Hey, on line two. Hey, Joe. Hey, Tom. Uh, couldn't resist picking up the G19X when uh, local gun shop got one. And just, man, the more I shoot it, the more I like it. Okay, this is the Glock 19X. It's like this hybrid thing where you take a Glock 17 full-size pistol and then you put a Glock 19 slide on it to have a shorter barrel and slide. Is that about what I got here? That's it. So why does it appeal to you? What is it about that pistol that you like? It started out with a 17 years ago. Uh, went to a 19 as my regular training weapon and carry weapon. Uh, mm-hmm. Always liked the feel of the 17, though. It just fit my hand better, but it's you know a little more difficult to conceal. Uh, and anyway, just I like the idea of a couple of more rounds. You get the 20-round or the 19-round mag, then you get even two more above the 17. Uh, mm-hmm. That's kind of neat. Uh, it, it, I, it does seem to give me a you know better leverage, better torque on the on the uh, slide. Uh, by the way, by having sure. more grip. Could, could, so, yeah, you got a full size grip to hold on to because you know, I mean that's that always helps. Yeah, my draws are are smoother. I think um, just hmm. I, I'm just liking it in every way, I, and I actually seem to shoot a little more accurately. I can see. Now, let me ask you, is this the first Gen 5 Glock? Because, you know, I mean, that's the other thing is it's not like the old 17s at all. I mean, those things were big and blocky and clunky and everything else. And, you know, the Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, they've gotten better and better. Is this the first one of the newest generation that you've shot? Uh, I shot the Gen 4 19. That's what I had prior to this Gen 5 19X. But, yeah, this is the first Gen 5 that I have of any Glock. Let me ask you, how do you carry? Uh, appendix style, uh, inside the waistband, how do you carry? Uh, outside the waistband and usually with a, you know, some kind of sleeve over it, some sort of coat. Okay. Or, right. Uh, now it, I just, it, well, you know, it, if you're doing that, why? I'm just not quite understanding the shorter barrel, the value of the shorter barrel, if you're carrying outside the waistband or, frankly, inside the waistband either. Probably isn't. I mean, you know, probably is an advantage. I don't know. It's just, I mean, I'm not saying anything wrong with the, the pistol. I've always thought that it was harder to hide the grip than the barrel. And a shorter grip and a longer barrel would make sense. But, yep. you know. You're, you're exactly right. Uh, and I wouldn't say it was more ideal for, for concealed carry than the 19 uh, or the 26. But it just certainly feels good when I shoot it. Feels good in my hand. I'm I was a little dubious before I purchased it, but as soon as I felt it, I just thought, wow. And then when I shot it, I was really sold. I've probably put about 500 rounds through it in the last couple of weeks, and I'm well, that, loving it more and more. Well, that's a great range report. I mean, and ultimately, that's really what it's about, isn't it? Does the, does the gun feel good in your hands, and can you shoot it well? And if those two things work for you, it's the right gun for you. I love it. <laughs> All right, Glock 19X. Hey, we got a great range report on that. Hey, I sure appreciate that. That is uh, that's great. I love to have that. Uh, yeah, the newest Glocks. Uh, they don't feel like the old Glocks, or we used to call them blocks. Uh, we make fun of them. But the newest ones. You know, everybody's trending them down. Everybody's got ergonomic. Uh, the M and P's, the uh, the Springfields, the, the Sigs. All, all of them. They feel so good now, and it's just a pleasure to shoot them. The main thing is to have a good trigger to have good training, to know what you're doing with it, and you know, put 500 rounds through it. Shoot it a lot to where it becomes second nature to you. All right, when we come back, let's talk about, you're not going to believe it, let's talk about coffee, maybe black rifle coffee. You know, the guys uh, that have the AR on their coffee, you've seen them on uh, Fox and Friends and other places where now they're going to be on Gun Talk. Pretty cool. I like my coffee. I like my rifles. Talk about both. 866-TALK-GUN. That'll get you in here. I'm Tom Gresham, and this is Gun Talk. Gun Talk. 